it's not a very big fridge, so you'd think this would not be hard for me, but it is because I, I hate wasting food. So here's a spicy peanut vinaigrette that I I really like this. It was um, one of my favorite salad dressings. You can see that it's unopened. And um, let's take a look at the sell-by date here. Use by 216 2021 that means I should have used this by um, two years ago and if it's my favorite salad dressing why haven't I opened it um, well because I don't actually like salad and so I don't really eat salad anymore I eat other greens but I don't eat salad um, thus the unopened salad dressing I hate to throw away something that seems perfectly good, but it's not perfectly good if um, if I should have eaten it two years ago. Red curry sauce, also my favorite kind of um, curry. Used by 11-7-23, so should have used it by uh, a little over a month ago. It's it's probably okay, but um, the thing is, I probably bought this, you know, about two years ago or a year ago or whatever, which is why it was so close to the use by date. Um, and as much as I like red curry, I don't ever cook it. So I'm not gonna use that anytime soon. Artichoke antipasto. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um. Used by 11-18-2023. So again, should have finished it by a month ago. It actually was in my fridge unopened for um, probably at least a year, if not more. And the only reason it's partly used now is because about a month ago, I saw that it was about to be at its use by date and I opened it and I ate some and um, realized the reason I hadn't opened it in a year or whatever is because I actually... I actually don't like that stuff. Someone else bought it and left it. And let's see, sweet relish. Used by October 23, 2023. So it's two months past the used by date. Again, it's been in my fridge for um, probably a couple of years. Certainly more than a year. Um, how can a little jar of relish last for more than a year? because I don't, I don't use it. I don't really relish. I do use the little lemon squeezy juice. Ooh, or do I? Best by November 25th, 2021. Two years past its prime. I, I think I keep it because I'm like, well, how can lemon juice go bad? Um, yeah, I guess I could find out, but there we go. Wow, everything in that little tray was um, expired. <sighs> I love wasabi. I really, really love wasabi. But look, behold, used by September 4, 2021. This is more than two years past its prime. I've, I know I've owned this for, um, at least four years. If I love wasabi so much, why is this thing full? Because I don't cook anything at home where I would use wasabi. I only eat it when I'm out at a sushi restaurant or something. I never eat it at home. I don't know why I thought it would be cool to have. Hente hot sauce. This hot sauce is not bad. Let's see, where's the date? Okay, this thing doesn't even have a date on it. So it's probably bad, but um, I think it, I think my son purchased this, so it's not mine to pitch, but I'll ask him and I'm sure, I'm sure he'll pitch it. God, I really love maple syrup too. So I didn't want to even touch this. Let's see, best before January 28th, 2023. So it's about a year, it's about a year past its prime. 
I, again, I love maple syrup. I don't want to, I don't want to let it go. But, um, but guess what? Um, I'm a diabetic and I can't really eat that stuff except in very tiny quantities. <sighs> Organic strawberry preserves. Let's see. Best Buy 421. 2023. Uh, that would be April of this year, and now that I'm holding it, it looks like... Is that some mold growing in there? I think so. <clears throat> this is turning out to be pretty embarrassing. Olive oil mayonnaise dressing. Best if used by August 1, 2022. Okay. So that's about a year and a half past its use-by date. All right, tartar sauce. This one might actually be okay, yes. This is good for another month, so um, not too bad for this household. So we'll hang on to this. We do use that sometimes. Mustard, used by. Uh, a month ago. Um, it looks useful. It's probably still good, but um, we're not really mustard eaters. Horseradish mustard. I do like horseradish. Best if used by April 14th, 2023. Okay. I would have guessed that this was... Um, much fresher, but um, it's not if the use by date was um, like almost a year ago. Okay. Ah, more maple syrup. I don't even see a date on this. We may temporarily give it the benefit of the doubt. Coco Aminos. Aminos last a really long time. I would be very surprised if this was out of date. Best Buy, July 13th, uh, July 19th, 2023. Okay, so this is, um, even the Aminos are six months out. And I have to admit, I love the idea of these Coco Aminos, but um, I don't like how it tastes. So, if I don't like the taste, and it's six months past its date, it's gotta go. Whew. Worcestershire sauce. I like Worcestershire sauce, and I, I believe I eat it, so let's see. Best by March 20th, 2022. So, this is going on two years past its prime and um, like I said I like Worcestershire sauce I use it but uh, apparently I don't use it that much and that's because I don't cook these adorable little pickles pickles last a long time and look it's a whole jar of unopened pickles it's got to be it's got to be good how good is it? These are saved for now because they have no date, but it does say, it does say to consume within 15 days of opening. Yeah, fat chance that that'll happen, but for now it'll, it'll be all right. Ketchup. Best by April 28th, 2024. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is so far the one thing that we have touched in this um, refrigerator door that is definitively still good. And so, yes, apparently we do use ketchup. Hey. Taco sauce. Looks like we sort of use it. I mean, it's almost used up. Best Buy, 
September 2023. Okay, about three months past its prime. Off it goes. Maraschino cherries. I don't remember even why we got this. Must have been cooking bacon a cake or something. Maraschino cherries. I don't know, but um, there's no date on these, but I'm going to pitch them because I looked at the ingredients here. High fructose corn syrup. Anything with high fructose corn syrup gives me a terrible headache. Um, I don't think it's fit for human consumption, so I'm going to pitch that. The holiday nog I know is still good because last week was Christmas and we just bought some. Yeah, April 2024. So this is more than halfway done. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be consumed. This is a great barbecue sauce that somebody bought me. I don't see a date on this bottle. So I'm gonna give it the doubt. Okay, if I give it the doubt and I remove all of the expired food from the from my refrigerator door. That's what we got. Um, I know the butters up there are good because I do go through a lot of butter. All right. And that's a little piece of ginger up there. So if it's wilty, I'll put it in the compost. Otherwise, I'll keep it. All right. And this is what we got rid of by getting rid of expired refrigerator door food. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen items. <sighs> Sadly, some waste. Well, I guess technically a lot of waste, sort of, but the unopened salad dressing, it's very sad. The barely ever touched wasabi and the practically new cocoa aminos, and actually that, those maraschino cherries, looks like we probably only took about two of them out of there. So that's sad, but that's life, and all I can do is promise myself that I'll do better next time.